When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 65 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here. With Greg Hansen, GH, the Arizona Wildcats have a new athletic director. He is Dave Heakey from Central Michigan. Before that, he was at Oregon. On the surface, he has sort of a good resume, Pac-12 ties, sitting athletic director at a school that's done some good things. What do you make of the hire? Probably the best they could get. Okay. Uh, do you? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think you yourself had mentioned a week ago that you wouldn't be surprised if it was Dave Heakey from Central Michigan. So I trust you. You know, I think they, they would have liked to take a look at uh, John Curry at Kansas State. He was too expensive. Kirby Holcutt at Texas Tech. Okay. Couldn't get him. And then they're all, their affiliates mm -hmm. spread out throughout the country, connected to Arizona. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't enthuse them. Mm -hmm. So, Hickey, not Hink. Not Hink, Hickey. Um, he, he does make sense. Yeah, he does make sense. Uh, you know, when he was at Oregon, he was their chief of staff, responsible for sort of the Joey Harrington billboard in yeah. Times Square and everything else. I think that the University of Arizona is due for some sort of a rebrand, at least some sort of maybe reimagination of who they are and what they are. Uh, well, what do you think he'll bring to it? Especially with a new president coming in? Yep. Maybe some things will change. Right. Um, the two presidential candidates, that's another story. Right. Don't have athletic backgrounds. None. So he might have a free field to play with. Right. Um, Maybe that makes him nervous. I don't know. Would it make you nervous? No, I think that if I'm a guy who's a 53-year-old athletic director who spent 11 years at a mid-major, I get a job that more than doubles my salary. I want to come in and roll my sleeves up. The advantage of hiring a guy, I think, with his experience level, is there's not going to be a feeling out period here. I think he's going to come in and get to work. Oh, he'll be in charge. Right. I think his personality is, I'm the boss and you're not. Okay. Um, I would love to be in the room when things get tough with Rich Rod yeah. <laughs> to see how that goes because Rich Rod is the boss. He is the boss, yes. I don't think he'll be the boss in this case because he doesn't have any leverage. Right. Um, to me, that is the most entertaining, not entertaining, that's a way off wrong word. Compelling. Compelling situation <laughs> in the next year. You know what? Ann Weaver Hart talked about it in her teleconference yesterday with the Board of Regents, how important football is. And it's a twofold thing, she said. Number one, you've got to win more games. Number two, you got to get, you got to have a stadium and a game day atmosphere that people actually want to spend money on. Yeah. To me, lost in the fact that Arizona football has really struggled here is the fact that their games, unless you're sitting in the Lowell Stevens football facility or on the club level inside Arizona Stadium, their games stink if you're a fan. If you have a good seat on the west side in the shade, it's okay. It's okay. If you brought your own chair back because, yeah. because there are no seats, if... You bring your own food. If you don't have to go to the bathroom, you're good. It's funny. Jim Livengood, who was very effective in my opinion, he established the template for what needed to be done here. Right. Greg Byrne came in and got some of it done here. Right. Now Dave Hickey has to get more of it done and the most costly part of it done. And where are they going to come up with the money for that? I don't know, but Dave Hickey has done it before. You know, he sort of spearheaded a $90 million, I believe, renovation of Autzen Stadium in Oregon. And, Greg, you were there kind of before and after. It is a much better place oh, to yeah. see a game now than it used to be. Um, when he was at Central Michigan, he was able to improve some more minor things. I think he made pretty good hires um, in that regard with basketball and football. Um, to me, though, job one has to be uh, improve the football stadium situation. And job 1A? Mm -hmm and a lot of people won't like this, has to be to get a student fee. Right. Arizona State is making $10 million a year off a student fee that they backdoored on everybody. Right. Arizona wasn't that diabolical, didn't get it, mm -hmm. got turned down. That money is so important. And if you look at, I think, sort of the beginning of the end of Greg Burns time in Tucson, it was some of the frustration that he had trying to get money raised via the university. Yeah. You know, remember, as he and Ann Weaver Hart had talked about that student fee, and it kind of, you know, it was dead on arrival. Uh, if you're a man trying to raise $100 million, you could certainly use $10 million a year from the university. And when that dried up, sort of the plans of getting everything started dried up. <clears throat> yeah, it stalled. Um, Dave Hickey, <laughs> I know um, Central Michigan probably doesn't have, I know it's very tough being an athletic director there. Right but nothing compared to what he's gonna face financially here. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Mm -hmm. I, 
all athletic directors in America, the number one thing they do now isn't sports, nope. it's facilities. Yep, yep, and Arizona needs to improve its facilities. I mean, there's a story in ESPN just today that you know, Rich Rodriguez and the football program are kind of expecting an indoor practice field at some point too. So what, you've got to improve the football stadium, build an indoor practice bubble, figure out what you're doing with Kendall Sanset Stadium. I think you need to improve Hill and Brand, oh, yeah. which is not one of the top five places to see a softball oh. game anymore. Continue to put money into High Corbett Field. I mean, this is sort of a, outside of those things. <laughs> when Dave Hickey was at Oregon and they built an indoor football yeah. facility, it cost one million. Right. Now, what would it cost? Ten? Ten. Ten. And it depends on what you want to do with it. Yeah. I mean, do you want to practice? And, the, and we're getting into the weeds here, obviously, but you watch the show because you like the weeds, I think. Do you turn the football stadium, or the football stadium, do you turn Kindle Sandset into some sort of dual-purpose place where you've got the football indoor practice bubble, but on game days for football, you sure. use it for boosters and stuff. Oh, yeah, Oregon State does that. Right. If that's the case, then, this is not a $1 million or, no. or $10 million. This is a $30 million project? I mean, you can't yes. just cover the field. You cannot do what Arizona State did and erect an unsightly white bubble. That blue, looks the blue like the away. Michelin Man. Right. You cannot do that right. anymore. No. That is so ugly. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, you kind of called the Dave Hickey thing last week, by the way. Appreciate that. <clears throat> About six weeks ago, I texted Cedric Dempsey yeah. and said, what do you think of Dave Hickey? He's from your al alma mater, right. Albion. And he, he wrote something back where I thought, this is the guy. I like that. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.